G'day guys, we've got a uh, probability distribution question today where it's asking us to consider the probability distribution for the discrete random variable x such that the probability that the random variable is less than or equal to a particular number is equal to this function here where x is a positive integer. Okay, so for part A of the question, this they're asking us to complete this table here where we've got the values of x across the top and the probabilities of x the variable being less than x and the probability of the variable being equal to x. So we've been asked to then explain clearly why the maximum value for x is 5 and this uh, conditional probability situation down the bottom. So this is basically a um, easy probability distribution question sort of disguised as a complicated one and you'll see why I mean that in a second. So let's start with trying to fill out this table. Well, it says the probability for x being less than or equal to x when x is equal to 1 to 5. So that's exactly what we have up the top here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to substitute in our value, number 1, for x and figure out what this thing is. So we have 1 times 2 over 30, which is 2 over 30. Put in 2, we've got 2 times 3 over 30 is going to be 6 over 30. We've got 3, so we're going to have 3 times 4, which is 12 over 30. We've got 4 times 5, which is 20 over 30. And we have 5 times 6, which is 30 over 30. Cool. So hopefully you guys are getting some ideas on how you're going to solve part B. But let's go on to uh, the second part of this table. Now, the probability that x is equal to x. Well, number 1 is our first variable. So the probability that x is going to equal number 1 is just equal to the probability that x is going to be less than or equal to 1 because that's the only variable that we have. So this is going to be 2 over 30. Now, the probability that x is going to be equal to 2 is surely the probability that x is going to be less than or equal to 2 subtract the probability that x is going to be less than or equal to 1. So basically, the probability of 2 is this probability subtract this probability because at the top here, this is basically a cumulative probability at the top. So we're going to have 4 over 30. And again, 12 takes 6 is 6. Twenty take twelve is eight, and thirty take twenty is ten. Cool. So for part B, explain clearly why the maximum value for x is five. Okay. Well, this is hopefully you guys are aware that the maximum probability that we can have when we're talking about probability density functions is 1. So the probability total of everything has to be equal to 1. So what we're going to say is, as the probability that x is less than or equal to 5 is equal to 30 over 30, which is equal, sorry, which is equal to 1. So basically what this is saying is, as the probability of the random variable being less than or equal to 5 is equal to 1, we can say there cannot be any values greater than 5. 
because we can't have anything more than one as our probability. Otherwise, we'd have um, a probability distribution function that doesn't make sense. Okay, so find the probability that x is equal to 5 given that it's x is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, so first of all, let's the probability that x is equal to 5 is going to be this number here. So this is going to be equal to the probability that x is equal to 5 divided by the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3. Cool. So the probability that x is equal to 5 is 10 over 30. And the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3 surely is the is 1 subtract this probability in here. Because this is anything less than or equal to 2, so greater than or equal to 3 would be the rest. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, this is going to be equal to 1 minus... 6 over 30, which is equal to 10 on 30 divided by 24 on 30, which is equal to 10 on 24 or 5 on 12. Cool. So basically, guys, this is a process that is not very... Um, taxing, it's not very complicated, and there are not that many places where you can make silly mistakes. I guess being aware of what the notation means is probably the first thing that I would consider, and understanding um, what the difference is between a cumulative probability and just a discrete probability. So if you understand all this, it shouldn't be too much of a problem to be able to understand why x can't be greater than 5 and to work out basic conditional probability questions. But, you know, I hope this video helped. Uh, you know, it's not a uh, sort of exhaustive example. However, you know, it should get the job done for a lot of you guys who are uh, struggling with introductory uh, random variable questions. So until next time, guys, keep practicing your maths. It does help. And make sure it's still, it's still fun, though. See you next time.